Hi, Howard Dragons. Here's a story called The Jazz Fly. Zzz, a fly buzzed by. It was late in the day and he was lost. So he flew to a frog that was sitting on a log and asked the frog which way to town. Zabazaboo, zabazi, zabaroni. The frog didn't get the way the jazz fly talked. Ribbit, the frog answered. Ribbit, ribbit. The fly flew zzz to a hog in a bog. He stayed clear of the mud to keep his black tux clean and asked the hog which way to town. Zabazaboo, zabazi, zabaroni. Oink, the hog answered. Oink, oink. The fly saw a donkey, short and gray, so he flew zzz to ask him the way. Zabazaboo, zabazi, zabaroni. The donkey just began to bray. Hee-haw, hee-haw. At last the fly flew to a furry dog. One more time he asked, Zabazaboo, zabazi, zabaroni. Ruff, 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 barked the pooch right away. She pointed her nose to say, go that way. The jazz fly flew past weeds and clover till he reached a street that was paved all over. He leaned left down the alley right through the door. He saw fancy waders creeping all across the floor. Beetles and maggots had come to hear the show. They were dining with the locusts by the fireflies' glow. The band was looking antsy. It was half past eight. They grumbled, man, this fly is always late. They tugged at his sleeves, strolled to his drums, twirled around his brushes, and counted off a song. Za, z, za, z, zuze. Then, like a chef stirring dinner in a pot, he put it all together and dished it out hot. Zap. Ting, zap a doom, baby, swish, zap a boom, zap a zee, zap, ooh. The fly was jamming, not scamming, but swimming like a salmon. But then the club's queen bee sat down with the huff. This band plays good, but that's not good enough. I want a sound that'll make bugs shout. I want a new beat or this band is out. The fly, who'd been very confident until now, suddenly felt kind of small. He knew he'd have to come up with something different if the jazz bugs were to keep their ja jobs at the jazz club. So he thought and thought until... The fly recalled the sounds that he heard that day. He mixed them all up in a brand new way. He crossed a bridge, up beyond the line, took a chance, and began to shine. Swish, zoom, zappity bop, ribbit, ribbit, zappity dome, bang, bing, oink, oink. Swish, zap, 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 hee-haw, hee-haw. Ruba, ruba, ruff, 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 ruff. Zabada, 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 hee-haw, rony. Oink, zabba, hee-haw, ribbit, ruff, ting. Well, the beetles and the maggots stopped eating their chow. Willie and Nancy and Sammy said, wow. The cockroach waiter shouted, go, man, go. Dig that fly, he can really blow. The joint was hopping, bopping, wriggling on the floor. They'd never heard a sound like this before. Now the word got out about the jazz bug sound, about the white hot drummer who broke new ground. Beetles packed the club. Locusts came a swarm. The jazz bug's l name went up in lights. And to make sure that he never lost his way, the fly picked up his friends in a limo each day. And their song sounded just like this. All right, Howard Dragon. So those silly words that the fly used were music words called scat. Can you say scat? That's when you make your mouth sound like an instrument. And by using the animal sounds, he made a new song and made sure that his animal friends kept their job at the jazz club. All you need to do now is do a short quiz on Schoology about the jazz fly. I hope you enjoyed my story. Bye, friends.